Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video we're going to be dividing polynomials and we're going to be going through three examples uh, and the examples are shown here on the screen. So without further ado, let's get it. Example number one, we have 3x to the fifth minus 9x cubed minus 18x squared all over 3x. So whenever this is the case where a polynomial is being divided by a monomial, what we could do is split it up and put the uh, 3x um, under every term there. So we get 3x to the fifth divided by 3x minus 9x cubed over 3x minus 18x squared over 3x, like that. And now what we can do is simplify. So Let's start from the left-hand side. So these threes cancel. And whenever you have an exponent divided by, or a variable with exponents divided by another one, what you do is you just subtract the exponents. So in this case, the top one is a five, the bottom one is a one. So it'll be x to the fourth, like that. All right, so now let's keep going. So uh, negative nine divided by three is negative Three, and then it's going to be x squared minus 18 divided by 3 is 6, and then it's going to be x there. So this is the final answer to this problem, and this example is complete. Example number two, we have a trinomial being divided by a binomial. So the way we set this up is that we're going to put x minus 2 on the outside, and on the inside is going to go x squared minus 10 x plus 16 and what you want to make sure that you do is write the um, the powers descending so the x squared then the x and then no x's um, so that way it makes it easier um, and now what we do is we want to figure out how many times does x the number in the front here go into x squared and that number is x times like that all right, so now we found that out. We're going to multiply this number, the x that we just found, to both of these numbers here and then subtract it. So x times x is x squared. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x, just like that. So now that we did that, what we want to do is change the signs. So subtract those and then combine them. So when we do that, these x squareds cancel out. And what we get is negative 8x. All right. And then we bring down that term there. So plus 16. And we repeat the process. x goes into negative 8x negative 8 times negative 8 times x is negative 8x and then negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16 and now what we want to do is subtract these so that means we change the signs so that's going to be a positive 8x and then this one is now going to become a negative 16. And when we do that, these cancel, these cancel, and you have no remainder. Okay, so whenever you have no remainder, this answer here is going to be your answer. So the final answer to this question is x minus 8. And what you can do to double check is you can actually just take this uh, x minus 8 and multiply it to x minus 2, and you should get the numerator. So we found out what our answer is. Therefore, this example is complete. Example number three. So we have this problem here and we want to divide. So we're going to take the denominator, the 2x plus 3. And the numerator is going to go on the inside, which is 6x squared plus 17x plus 17, like that. And now all we do is we look at the front number and we want to figure out how many times does 2x go into 6x squared. It goes in 3x times. All right. 
So now we're going to go ahead and do the multiplication. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared. And now we do 3x times 3, which is positive 9x. And what we do from here is subtract these together. So I'm going to change the signs. And then this right here is going to become a negative like that. So when you do that, these are going to cancel. And then you get 17x minus 9x, which is a x. And then we bring down uh, the 17 here. And we repeat the process. 2x goes into 8x four times. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is positive 12. And now we want to subtract those, so we are going to change the signs. So that's going to be a negative 8x, and then that is going to be a negative 12. Okay, and when we do that, these 8x's are going to cancel, and then you get 17 minus 12, which is 5. So if we look at this, 2x cannot go into 5. So this right here, this 5, is our remainder. I'm just going to put that as an R. And whenever we have a remainder, we just add that to the end of our um, answer, and we put it over what we are dividing by, so that 2x plus 3. So our answer is going to be 3x plus 4. We still have that remainder, so we have to put plus 5 over what we were dividing by, which is 2x plus 3. This is going to be our final answer, therefore this example is complete.